found I have about 15 minutes of video concerning paint primers. And that's so boring I didn't really want to go ahead with it. And I don't know about you, but uh, that's not a very exciting thing to talk about. So instead I thought we would uh, do a little tour here and show you where we are at the moment. Uh, this is of course the uh, V-Birth forward. Uh, pretty well got it painted. Uh, still have some trim to do. As long as we're on the subject of primer, we'll have a look at this. Now the uh, primer I was using is a uh, very heavy and it's supposed to fill in all the little gaps that uh, occur. It's actually um, supposed to be used to uh, help adhere loose paint, which we didn't, uh, I pretty well scraped that all off, so we don't really have any loose paint. But what I found is that it really doesn't fill in the cracks as well as I'd hoped it would. So I don't know if it uh, would be any better just to use a regular primer with several coats or spend the money on this um, more expensive solution. When I put the primer on, it uh, did seem to fill the gaps, but as it dried, it seemed to disappear. Instead of having the valleys all filled in, uh, it really, uh, uh, really didn't do that. After a lot of uh, soul searching and uh, facing the reality of hole number two, I've come to the conclusion that uh, to try to put on any type of a uh, wood area here between the uh, portals like you see on the newer boats is pretty much a lost cause. The reason is uh, it's so rough you can see these bubbles. Now if the bubble happened to be solid I could just grind that down but I suspect that bubble may not be and if it is a fiberglass bubble then I'd have frayed edges uh, to deal with and I really don't want to do that. Uh, the, the bubbles and the roughness is so rough that uh, I really don't think I could put on a piece of wood here uh, that would stay flush with the ports themselves. In other words, I'd have to build it out or grind down the roughness in order to get that to work properly. And to me, that's just too big of a risk. I really don't think that uh, the value of, of um, having that uh, wood would make a difference. That and on other older boats, of the same age uh, quite often the leaks you know quite often they have leaks and it stains the wood well if I can put a faux finish on this and have it look halfway decent then I don't have to worry about that problem so we're going to be looking at that the other little uh, bout with reality occurs on the uh, top part of the uh, cabin as you know I wanted to try to put a uh, uh, some sort of a finish up there similar to what the newer boats have uh, but if I could wrestle those big pieces of plastic into this boat, I don't know that it would come out looking very well. Uh, and then we're dealing a lot of a lot of with the same problem. We're dealing with the same problems here of a very rough uh, rough finish. So at some point you have to realize that uh, the new boats are made uh, closer to a yacht finish than was ever intended on the earlier boats. So what we have here in the hideaway, since it's hull number two. Uh, this is more of a work boat finish. In other words, it's fairly rough. The boat still sails as well as any. Uh, it's, we have as much fun on it as I'm sure we would on any other uh, newer uh, version of the 23 compact. So we're going to um, do the best we can and make it look the best we can, but I'm not going to uh, do anything really major here. Uh, pretty much the paint... Uh, we're pretty much done with the uh, base paint here. That's a light blue. It's a very light blue color. That's what the, uh, that's what the boss wanted, so that's what she gets. Uh, it'll go pretty well with our dark blue uh, cushions. And it does brighten everything up. So the old uh, adage, it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't, uh, certainly applies here. Now I am going to do a uh, full finish on some of the areas. Uh, in particular, the uh, right below the, the forward hatch will be that way. You can kind of see the old uh, finish there uh, in this uh, picture. So we'll have something like that, uh, and hopefully it'll it'll look like a. At least, hopefully, at least at first glance, it's going to look like wood, or at least it'll break up this mass of uh, 
light blue color. Yeah, we're going to have a look at the electrical that's in the mast as well as uh, what happens when that comes through the top of the cabin. What I've been finding is we've had uh, several splicing episodes here apparently from a uh, former owner I would imagine. At least I didn't do any of this. So we're going to have to trace these wires and make sure everything is, uh, is going to be good there. Yeah, the other situation is where the uh, wires come through the cabin top is basically just a hole. Since the, uh, uh, the mast is down, I want to uh, put in a more standard uh, setup there where, it, uh, uh, where I can easily disconnect all the wiring without uh, cutting it like I had to uh, this time. On deck, uh, we still need to, uh, to paint the mast up, which of course on the hideaway is a, uh, uh, much different than what you find on a standard compact. That's solid aluminum, about a quarter inch thick. And this is where the wires go through. You can see the situation there. I want to uh, get a, um, a marine grade connector that I can put in there. I'm probably going to have to enlarge the hole. And I'm not sure how that's all going to fit in yet, but um, nothing's impossible. Towards the forward part of the uh, mast step is where they ran the cable for the uh, antenna. Now that antenna is not uh, providing any use right now at all, so I'm not even sure I'm going to run an antenna. Uh, on the mast and the finished product. Uh, it's not really necessary for what we do. Uh, handheld is fine. All we're doing is calling bridges. We're, we're not very far offshore ever and we're usually sailing with the group so I'm not as concerned about that maybe as I should be. Probably just going along real fine right now. Uh, we pretty well got the uh, interior painted. Uh, I'm going to uh, I think go get the artist paints here and, and play a little bit and see what I can come up with as far as doing a faux finish. Um, if the faux finish works, that's what we'll do. If not, uh, we'll come up with something else, I guess.